Hey everybody, it's John D with John D TV. We're back here at Fairview Square Townhome Community um, with our house follow. And when I saw you last, we talked about interior trim before paint, and now we've had the paint applied. So they came in, they sprayed all the walls, and they actually, they spray a coat on the walls and then they back roll back over them to give it that finished texture and to build the thickness of the paint up on the walls. And then they applied semi-gloss to our trim. Now this application of paint is the initial application. Of course, it's basically finished, but we are gonna have another step where we're gonna follow up later and we're gonna mark the walls up and take care of any imperfections. Drywallers will come back and touch up spackle and then we'll touch those areas up. So this is just the initial paint. Um, again, I'm in one of the bedrooms here and you can see there's no carpeting in just yet. We do have the baseboard in place with that little space below it to tuck the carpet under. Um, so we're gonna be moving toward hard surface flooring, mechanical finishes, um, cabinetry installation, and then once all those are done, we'll get the carpet put in. A Couple things to keep in mind with your paint scheme in your new home. Many people get frustrated. They feel it's a builder grade paint and they're not happy with it. When you have a new home, things can settle over time, heating and cooling. It's all this new lumber and materials. So after your one year, we're gonna come back in and we're gonna take care of any settlement that may have happened from shrinkage issues, um, you know, the normal building settlement that you'll get once you go through all four seasons. At that time, we leave a paintable surface for you to touch up. If you would use a top of the line paint in here and you had two little nail marks on the wall, you can't just touch those up. Unfortunately, the higher the grade of paint, the harder it is to touch up. So if you even make a scuff on the day you move in, you can't just touch it up. You have to roll that whole wall out. That's kind of craziness when it comes to thinking of a whole home that you're gonna be touching up with drywall um, if needed, depending on how much it settles and shrinks. So, as we go through those stages, we want the ability to quickly touch up and have everything look great. I highly recommend you wait through that full year before you apply any new colors. Um, and especially once you get more and more coats on the walls, it's just harder to touch up in the future. The standard grade paint that we put in is a good paint. It works great and it's actually the easiest to touch up. Um, but I think there's a stigma with it. And I wanted to explain why we use that grade of paint for you. So when we come back, I wanna show you some finished flooring and we'll move right into cabinets and it's really come together. I think you guys are gonna be excited to see the finished product. I appreciate you tuning in today and I hope you have a great day.